Hey guys, Hannah here and welcome to my channel. I'm so excited about this video today. If you're new here, my name is Anna and my videos are about minimalism, slow living and personal development. And today more specifically about uh, personal finance. Today I want to talk about uh, tips that uh, help me to save a lot of money like a lot. I didn't apply these tips uh, all at the same time. I've built it into my life as it goes and it's something that I do all the time now. Some of them are obvious but the best is to adapt them uh, into your own life. Okay so let's go. Okay so the number one is to stop buying brands when I do my grocery shopping. And I went further because I've decided to buy in bulk uh, twice a month um, on the website of my grocery store. We save a lot of money because we don't buy big brands, we buy brand um, of the store and because we buy on the internet and you know we live in Paris so when we go to a grocery store it's about 30% more expensive uh, than the website of the store. For fruits and vegetables sometimes it's better to go to the stores. So we go to the store once every two weeks. Okay so I stopped buying brands and I've started meal prepping uh, at the same time but I needed to have several uh, meal ideas for the week so I spent a lot of time in my kitchen and <laughs> You know that I'm not a huge fan of cooking. So it has been a few weeks that we have decided to have only two or three ideas for meals for the week. So for example, this uh, week we ate um, chili for lunch and faridas or lentille salad uh, for dinner. It saves me a lot of time and I save money because I don't need a ton of ingredients. I just need to have more quantity of what I will uh, cook for the week. When you have something yummy in your fridge, it's easier to not take out and so for that you will save a lot of money and you know guys when you come back from work uh, at night it's so great to not think about cooking and just take the meal out of the fridge. I spent so much money on fast fashion and after washing them once they were good to go to the trash but at that time I was like okay it's only 10 bucks and I didn't have the money and I didn't want to um, spend a lot on big brands. So last year I turned to second hand clothes and it was easier for me to spend money on big brands. Even if it's more uh, expensive than fast fashion, it's about 70% of um, the big brands uh, price and you know I have clothes that I just perfect after washing them and I'm so happy with what I have so don't be afraid to buy second hand because you will find really great quality clothes that will last a long time. In my video about my low buy year I told you that I wouldn't buy clothes until I lose weight um, but I think that uh, if I lose weight, I will only buy second-hand clothes. In the last month of 2020, one of the things that helped me to save a lot of money was to unsubscribe to many services. For example, because we had two Amazon Prime accounts, I've decided to stop mine and if we want to purchase something on Amazon, we use the account of my boyfriend. Another thing that I did was to look at uh, my subscriptions uh, for my website, my business and so on. So I ask myself this question, do I use them regularly? Is there any other solution? free or cheaper. If you ask yourself this question you will find that there are a lot of uh, other solutions. Okay then wait um, 30 days before purchasing anything that you want and I insist 
uh, on the notion of want. You won't wait 30 days for buying a new toothbrush. For example, if you want a new piece of furniture or if you want a new clothes, wait 30 days. It's a very powerful uh, tool and you will see that two or three days later you won't think about it at all. Actually, it will help you to know if it's really something that you want uh, or it's just something to balance a state of mind. Okay, so the tip number six is to buy in bulk when there are promotions. I don't buy in bulk for uh, every item because we don't have enough space to stock up, but for some of the things I like to purchase promotions like toothpaste or shower gel, it's easier to manage because it's small. When I buy in bulk, I look at the price per kilo or per piece and I know if it's a really good deal. You won't save a lot of money doing it, but you know in the long term it's always more money in your saving account. Decrease your room temperature to uh, save money on energy. I was always aware of this when I was living with my parents. We were always uh, careful about the room temperature um, in the house and it's something that I continue to do right now and I am a little bit extreme because when I go to see my parents it feels warmer than our own apartment. Our apartment isn't very well insulated so we lose a lot of warmth uh, during the winter. Last year we've decided to lower the temperature by 1 degree Celsius and we saved approximately 150 euros per year. I think that create a capsule wardrobes helped me the most to save money. I bought so many clothes that didn't fit together, a lot of patterns, a lot of colors, but it wasn't really thinking, you know? So I struggled to uh, wear some of them and I ended up getting rid of them. I created my capsule wardrobes two years ago and since since then um, everything matches everything and I wear everything that I own. It's so much easier to find something to wear uh, in the morning and if I want to buy something new, I ask myself if it will fit with my other clothes. I'm currently preparing another video about my capsule wardrobes, so don't forget to subscribe. The last tip is to create a budget and stick to it. Okay guys, let's be honest, if you don't have a budget, it will be really, really difficult to save money. I tried and I failed. So now I have a budget. It's not a fancy one, it's just a Google sheet with two columns, one for all the categories and another for the amounts of money. But you know, I know exactly what I spend in the month and how much I'm supposed to save. Um, and actually that's it. At the end, I have a box with the amount of money that I'm supposed to have at the end of the month and that's it. It's what motivated me to stop spending because I know how much I can save for holidays or my dream home. Okay guys, it's the end of the video. Tell me in the comments below if you have any other tips to save money. I hope you enjoyed this video and if it's the case, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like. Share it with your friends and family and I see you in the next one. Bye bye.